I bought this house one and a half year ago and I have been renovating ever since. I chose this house because it's got beautiful nature around the corner and because it's small. It just seems more sustainable to me in all kinds of ways. I tried to leave a small footprint so I choose reused leftover natural building material whenever possible. Even if 46 square meters is more than enough, I really saw potential in the attic. So last winter I started insulating the entire space, adding new trusses, reinforcing the old ones. And this would give me a cozy space for sleeping and working. In this episode I finish the part of the attic where my bedroom will be. And after having slept in the unfinished space for almost a year now, guess if I'm excited. And then obviously there is the odd little bits of living in a house, so let's begin with checking what's going on with the rat. I'm under the wooden deck, uh, checking out the rat traps. I haven't heard the rat, or at least I don't think so. Uh, I mean, I hear scratching sounds every now and then, but who knows if that's the rat or if that's something else. But um, and there's nothing in the traps, so I thought I'm gonna see if the hole where it enters uh, is active or not by putting in a little rock. And if the rock is moved out from the hole, obviously it has passed through. So that's what I'm gonna do now. That's the passage into the foundation of the house. But I'm gonna see if it can work anyway. Seems alright. Okay. That's a bit weird. It 
little boo. I actually started painting last night, but the plaster hadn't dried here yet. So um, yeah, I kind of had to wait with this. In the last couple of weeks I've been getting some help as well. My mom and her partner Andos came to help me for a couple of hours, removing paint from one of the shelves that I will use to make a room divider in the attic. Daniel did the other one a couple of days later. And in the meantime while they were working I soaked the floors upstairs with linseed oil. It's a traditional way of treating floors to keep them light in color and protect them from dirt and stuff and kind of easy to do by yourself. And halfway through, I noticed that my dirty trousers were making stains all over, which was kind of defeating the purpose, I guess. Hence the bare legs. I'm doing a 45 angle uh, cut lengthwise on uh, some of the floorboards because I want them like up on the wall and uh, yeah this saw is not very happy about doing cuts lengthwise so it's taken ages I wish I had one of those table saws to just like zzzz it through uh, but I don't have that so I'm just making do with what I've got and uh, yeah, of course, this is a reused saw. I bought it of someone on Marketplace. And uh, yeah, I knew it wasn't the best one, but what ifs? I want to cover up that old board and then obviously like I need the 45 degree angle to be able to get it in uh, the roof so and uh, yeah I think it's gonna look really great
Such an amazing spring day. I'm staying outside for a couple of hours. Um, I really felt like cleaning up down in the slope for a bit. Once I was down here, it struck me it would be nice to know all of the different species uh, that are here, like plants and mushrooms and whatever, uh, just to know what to take care of and what not to. Um, so uh, yeah, I don't have that much knowledge, but it would be nice to find out. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm removing obvious stuff that doesn't belong here. So yeah, picking up a lot of trash, which is also good, I guess, as a beginning. Look at these mushrooms. They are really odd. Quite the yield today. Uh, I don't know how many bike tires I found down there. Yeah, I'm really happy to get that stuff out of the ground. Feels good. There is an entire bed here. It's a mattress and stuff. I really want to get that out, but uh, that's a job for two people, I think. Time to go check out if there's any sign of the rat passing through the little hole where I put in a rock. So yeah, gonna crawl under the deck. I guess it's hard to see anything, but um, the rock is still there, so. It doesn't seem like it has passed. All right. There was no sign of it uh, having passed through. Uh, the rock was still in the hole. And uh, yeah, I guess that's good news. Um, maybe it has found somewhere else to live. So uh, yeah. I did find a dead mouse today though. Um, it was a tiny one. Probably not the one that lived under the house. Probably one of the neighbor's cat that took it or something. Mm. Poor thing. I think I'm gonna go and throw that away. Look away now if you don't want to see a dead mouse. Poor thing. I'm gonna leave him here.
I've also dug out uh, an entire bike. Two? Yeah, well, yeah, Two actually, bikes. this is the second one. So it wasn't only a bed with a mattress, it's also bicycles. In plural. <laughs> I've made a little um, setup here for the circular saw. I'm hoping this is gonna provide like a little support so that I'll I'll push the saw against here and uh, that should give me a straight cut. Maybe we'll see. Not so straight, unfortunately. Not sure what went wrong, but um, yeah. Me. I made another little setup. Um, I actually don't know what it's called, but you can buy these in metal specifically for circular saws and stuff. Uh, but uh, I'm uh, <laughs> too poor for that. So uh, yeah, I made this. It seems to be working all right. I guess I could make something like this uh, for the 45 degree cuts as well, but I don't know if I can be bothered. We'll see.
couldn't help but to put something pretty in there. Uh, it's not finished, but it's getting there. Uh, a few more bits to do. I'm gonna add more, one more shelf. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. And it's actually a couple of shelves that I bought in a thrift shop in Copenhagen when I lived there uh, years ago. And they have traveled with me. And now I'm kind of giving them a third life. Um, so um, yeah. Really happy about that. Um, this is gonna be everything for this episode. I'm gonna finish this. I think I'm gonna paint it in the same color as the walls, uh, white more or less. Um, um, even if I really like the wood, I think it's gonna be too much wood if I, yeah, if I keep it that way. And uh, I'm also gonna keep going with some uh, storage. I'm gonna build in the cabinets that I bought around Christmas. Uh, hopefully I'm gonna do that in the next episode, not making any promises because yeah, just doing this has taken me quite a long time, so you never know. Uh, but I'm so happy with the attic, it's really yeah turning into the place that I want it to be. Uh, so yeah, to be continued.